guardian angel. She found out Maddie had the guardian angel. They're gonna ask TJ, how's it going so far, my friend? Hey, good morning to you, Strahan. Yes, this is the village that produced and supported that guardian angel you're talking about. These are the friends and family of this young man, Jalen. And this is the guy they supported in making a decision to put his own health at risk in order to try to save the life of a young woman he didn't even know, had not met, and still hasn't met. But here's the thing, Strahan. She lives here, and she doesn't know we're all outside. So, Jalen, you... I'm going to go in. Maddie is expecting me. However, Maddie and her family, actually, are gathered downstairs waiting on me to come in and say hello to them. And Maddie and crew, hello, good morning. Uh, I was just talking about you, Maddie. And I was like, you all sit over here. I'm going to be a part of the family. I was just talking about you and what you've gone through at just the age of 19 and how you found a guardian angel that's really changed your life. And it's a story that we just had to tell. Her photos tell the story of a happy teenager, but on the inside, Maddie Ricky's body was slowly deteriorating. As soon as I would open my eyes in the morning, I would have a migraine. I was tired all the time. Uh, my knees always hurt. She was diagnosed with lupus at age 12, and her life completely changed. Then at 18, after more complications, doctors told her she need a liver transplant to survive. Madison had started really deteriorating quickly at the last semester of school. She was having a really tough time even getting to classes some days. My liver was called cirrhosis. Doctors suggested she try for a living donor. And so her mom turned to social media. I just put out a Facebook post that my daughter needs a liver. I mean, that's what you do for your child. Is your child needs help and you help them. So that was the best way that I knew how. They needed an angel. And 22-year-old Jalen Highsmith answered the call. He saw that Facebook post. Something just grabbed me instantly. I know that if I didn't at least try, it would have not sat right with me, knowing I had the chance to do something, but 